My name's John Creasel. I am a retired staff sergeant. I served 10 years in the Minnesota Army National Guard. Served on deployments to Kosovo and Iraq. All right, this is Creasel. This is what he normally does. Sits in a Humvee, oh, okay. <laughs> monitors the radio. I was severely injured in an IED blast on December 2nd, 2006. I lost both of my legs and two of my close friends. I was convinced that I wasn't gonna survive. It's a flip of a coin, essentially. If I was in one seat to the left, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here today. I will never forget laying on the sand in Iraq, seeing my legs severely injured. Fast forward eight days later when I woke up at Walter Reed, I thought, okay, you know what? None of this matters, I'm alive. And I'm thankful for that. And so there's one path and that's forward. And it made it tougher to really say, poor me, because I lived and two of my friends did not. I would never wanna suppress those memories or hide from those because those crappy days at the hospital are what make the great days here so much better. What I don't want people to think is that I'm gonna share a sob story. When you say this guy's gonna talk about losing his legs in Iraq, losing two of his best friends and, and his time in the hospital and overcoming all of that, it doesn't sound all that fun. By using humor to get through it and, and to tell the story, it keeps the audience relaxed and it keeps them uplifted and inspired. And behind that humor is a message that we're all gonna face adversity at some point and it's up to us to make the choice as to how we're gonna face it. It feels the best when I share my story with people and I can see the audience engaged and inspired, nodding their heads like that it's really hitting home with them. And then the best feeling is afterwards when they come up to me and say what that meant for them and how it impacted them. I feel like I'm tooting my horn too much and being like a faith healer where I touch the forehead, and they, but it's, it, it's not like that. It's more just the flip of how you look at perspective can change everything. Every morning when I wake up, I have to put my pants on my legs and then I put my legs on. And that's a reminder of what happened. And I never want to forget that because it keeps me humble. And it reminds me that day is a gift. Tomorrow's never promised. So it's up to me to make today great.